Hey, good morning fam. Today is day five and today we're going to talk about finding the perfect niche. All right. Choosing your perfect niche is crucial. Um, and finding it is a process. It's going to, sometimes you have to pivot, you know, try different niches, get a vibe of what works for you, right? And so let's talk about the first thing, uh, passions and interests. Okay, so with passion, you know, I'm gonna speak just for myself. I have a passion for creating content, number one. I didn't know about that until I just started you doing YouTube. So it, it's, it's, you know how it is, guys. Like, sometimes we don't know our passion until we put it to action. So, I didn't know that I would love creating content until I start editing videos, noticing like myself, like laughing a lot more, like when I'm editing the videos, when I, just little things like that. And then the best part of creating content is growing as a content creator. You're constantly moving in a direction where you see yourself improving individually as a person. So it's just a quick example, you know, of trying to find your perfect niche. So I figured during this process of making 30 videos in 30 days, I figured that why not help other content creators make content? Because it's something that I personally love to do. So and then we can talk about the interest, right? Interest could be something like you, you like to do on a daily basis. Like for myself, I like to run. But right now, it's uh, during a warm up, I warm up and that's the best time for me to communicate with you guys, to talk with you guys for the, well, last I can it took out about 38 minutes on day three, but it's supposed to only take 15 because that's how I normally warm up, it's 15 minutes, but it is what it is. I do it for you guys. Uh, you just gotta adjust on the fly. But what I mean about that is, when I first started out is a running, I, I started talking about my running journey. I wanted to complete a marathon. That is still my goal, it just unfortunately, uh, the truth is, well, not the truth, <laughs> you guys will know what I mean, but it's like, I, I recently got into a moped accident with my wife, and so that delayed two months of not running, and now I'm just starting to run this past week, just this week alone, and it's definitely been an adjustment, but I don't, I don't want to get too in-depth with that, I just want to focus on uh, helping you guys find the perfect niche and so let's so what I want you guys to do is write down a list of hobbies and interests and also what you guys love talking about do those three things look into where you can start the point is is just to start and like I mentioned in day three, you know, it's, it's not the easiest thing to start, but um, once your mind gets into a flow state and just like doing these 30 videos 30, in 30 days, you honestly have to get into mode mode. Like that's all you, all you do, but also find a balance because honestly I do probably in the morning to lunchtime and then I take a break. So for four hours, I just focus on, oh, these two dogs, they are huge. <laughs> yeah, but you can see the skyline from here. I never noticed that. Okay, sorry, I got off chop a little bit. So then we I talk about entrance. Ask yourself what you can talk about for hours. And 
I didn't know that I could talk about creating content for as long as I did on day three. It just came out naturally. And that's what I mean about finding your perfect niche. It's just being able to, let me turn off the music real quick. Just finding your, your perfect niche. Actually, let's leave the music on. It kind of helps me get in a flow state <laughs> because there's like people around me and I get nervous. And so, yeah, so what I was saying is finding, yeah, so just talk about things that you can talk about for hours. So that will help you find your, your niche. You know, sometimes you, you have to go through challenges to, to push your limits, push your boundaries. And it's, it's okay, man. Like, I know it might feel difficult, but just you got to push through. And then number two, skill set and expertise. Okay, so evaluate your skills. Number one is, you know, if you already uh, have a skill set, like for example, I'm a licensed barber in Texas. So if you're a barber and you're listening, the easiest way to start off content is right where you are. You're constantly uh, serving your customers you're, you're transforming their lives, getting them ready, ready for their events, like weddings, uh, meetings, whatever it may be. They always have to go somewhere and look professional, right? And seeing that transformation from once they walked in and once they walk out, that's content, all right? You guys gotta wake up, like realize you, you have something that someone else doesn't have. And I wish I, I knew about this when I was, you know, 21. But I try to block out that negativity and realize that, hey, God's timing is everything. And right now is the time to focus on it because uh, it's that right time and moment. You know, I have that, that free time to do it. So, yeah. So example, another example, the donut business. Like I mentioned in day three, if you're a business owner, you know, it's, a, it's, it's one of the best ways where you're naturally promoting your business, but you're not forcing it. You're not doing like advertisement. You're just showing a side of you that's genuine, that's different than everyone else. Because not everyone not everyone does it. There's not many uh, small business owners that are putting themselves out there because they might feel like, oh, it's a secret <laughs> that I can't reveal what I do on a day-to-day -day basis or how people would judge me. Bro, I'm telling you, people don't care. I'm telling you, they don't care. I'm telling you, they don't care. I'm saying this because, listen, you're literally just holding yourself back from where if you if you believe in god it, where god wants to take you okay uh for those that don't believe in god you're just holding yourself back from being who you're supposed to be and you're just limiting yourself stop limiting yourself believe in yourself because i believe in you all right listen i believe in you and you can do this all right you just got to take one step forward, like I am right now. I'm just walking, uh, sharing with you guys on how to be a content creator, how to find your perfect niche. All right, so. And you have to understand, when you're at your working place, you're showing that your expertise, you showing authority, meaning you're showing how on a daily basis, you get the job done, right? And people like seeing that, you know? Um, if you're a man, lead by example. Show it by the works that you do on a daily basis. So let's move on to the next thing. Number three, research the market. All right, so researching the market, you know, start with exploring popular niche. It's easy, like what are you 
constantly watching on your own YouTube channel? What do you see that's popping, that, that, that's getting 1 million views, or even 50,000 views? Like, you have to understand when you're a small content creator, right? You kind of actually want to find your own space where you're seeing like other small channels, how, if they're doing well. That's why I recommend things like vidIQ to help you find out uh, tools that, that will help you find, you know, searchable titles and, and so on. Um, and then analyze, uh, analyze your, the, the competition. When I started recording myself, as far as like my running journey, I started looking into other running channels, you know, like Confusey, Matt Choi, and, and so forth, right? And so, and then can't forget Philly Bowden. Like, you have to look into your composition, what, what makes them different. For example, Philly Bowden, she's very charismatic, very full of energy, and just being herself, right? And I try to take from that is just, you need to be authentic, right? You just gotta be who you are. If you're an introvert like myself, you know, it's okay. Like you just gotta push through. I know that after this, I'm gonna be burnt out just from talking about <laughs> finding your perfect niche, but it's okay. Like you have to know that that's how it is and you've been through it before and it's okay and just another thing audience demand identify audience problems or needs so what i meant about all right let's let's go back to being a barber all right there's a need right now especially during this inflation people are looking for jobs people are looking for a skill to learn if you're a barber, right, there's a need because, you know, you never know how many people wants to become a barber. Think about it, you can be a barber as early as 16 years old, right? So you have a wide audience just from that alone of, because you know, when you're 16, think about it, or if you're 16 now, is we're all once looking for that first job. And if someone commit to like a year and a half, if they just go part-time because they're going to school and they complete it and get their license by their senior year, they're a barber, right? So you're affecting people's life without even knowing it yourself, right? You're just doing what you normally do on a daily basis. Give me a second, guys. I'm trying to dodge all this traffic. Conducting keyword research. All right, that goes back to vidIQ. I'll make a, a video about it to go more in depth, our keywords research. But just to give you an idea, for example, when you type into your Google, your YouTube search, and you start off by one word and it'll give you a list of ideas. I think I talked about this on day three. So I won't go in depth that if you guys want to know, then watch the other previous video on day three. Uh, content sustainability. Consider content longevity. All right, so like with the playlist that I have, Cambodia Trip 2024, check it out if you haven't. But when before I even started that content, I really had to do my research and go in depth and it's a lot of trash. <sighs> I really had to do like a very in-depth, everything that I'm telling you now is what I've, I've done beforehand. Um, so I, I, what I'm saying is, I thought about green form content. I believe that's what it's called or Basically, it's like a long form content that in the long run, three to five years from now, that people will still continue to watch those kind of videos. And that was the 
whole main reason of the Cambodia trip. Not the main reason, but I'm saying like doing content that's sustainable, right? And um, and yeah, whether it, the video was if people watch it later down the line, people can still uh, understand that those values that I provided during those videos is still, you know, still can help help them as far as finding some good places to eat, places to visit in Cambodia. And then let's talk about number six test before committing all right this is what I meant about like trying different niches on day three is I'm trying to be more in depth is that you've got to test it out right like try different uh, niche and see how your audience responds like right now I'm testing how to create a YouTube channel right I don't know the results yet because I haven't published the video yet. But if it does well, then I'll continue to do uh, videos like this, right? But if it doesn't, then, well, then I'll have to adjust. So we just made it to Kilo 4. But like I was saying, well, if I go in there, it's gonna be really loud. And I might be really distracted. But well, I'm gonna give it a try. Try things out. So, yeah. What was I saying? Test before committing. Yeah, I don't know what the result's gonna be. So, but I'm gonna give it a try and provide value to you guys that are trying to create content and we're in this journey together, right? Number seven, personal story and unique perspective. Leverage your unique story. Suggest using personal experience or unique perspective to stand out in your niche. Everyone has their own insight, their own experience, and that's what makes you, you, right? Everyone gone through different things in life. And a lot of times as humans, we tend to not want to share those things because it feels personal. But once you're able to realize that we're all people, everyone's the same, is that you're able to release this, this chain that's been holding you down and it's, there's this freedom on the other side. That's just how my interpretation is, right? And I think that's what I'm going through as a new content creator, um, is this feeling of uh, being able to walk in this light, you know, this freedom, and not worry about how people are looking at me while I'm recording and just focus on giving value to you, right? Block out whatever my surrounding is going on. And yeah, that's it. Um, next. And your unique perspective is unique because it's different for everyone, you know? Like for example, I'm gonna tell you a story. Growing up, uh, my parents divorced since I was four, right? And at the time, I used to blame myself like, oh, what did I do wrong for my family to, to break up? Maybe I did something wrong, I was a bad kid. That's all I could remember, right? And growing up, I was, Summer times, I would go to my mom's place, and that's where I learned the donut business at such a young age, around six. And I would 
learn from my mom and my stepdad on how to fold the boxes and you know those manual boxes that you put a dozen donuts in people don't use that now probably but you will have to manually fold those boxes and uh, yeah just those little things right your your story is different from everyone right just a little quick story of you know me growing up in the donut business and i didn't think uh, when I was 22, I would open my own donut business, but it played a role in that, right? Because my mother is a very entrepreneur mindset of doing things on your own, um, pushing your boundaries, and not holding yourself back from limitations. And just because my mother was an immigrant, she didn't let the fact Trust me, she used to pick up trash from the freeways when I was just uh, seven. And she would do those things. Like she would, uh, she was a, uh, a seamstress. She would do alterations. She worked hard to get her own barbershop, very hard. And I saw that work ethic and that work ethic uh, I want to have for myself as well, right? Like, dude, I hope I didn't pass up. Oh, the ball's right here. All right. Let me uh, grab some ball real quick. Hi, ball. Yo, ball pi. Come yo, sai khung. Ba yo, yo da cha da cho cha. Bye bye. Bye bye. So that's going to wrap up today's video for finding the perfect niche. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips and uh, like. don't forget to like, subscribe and share the content if you have other people that want to start YouTube. And if you're interested in coming to Cambodia again, I have a playlist, uh, Cambodia Trip 2024, check that out. And um, yeah, you, I, if you're watching this, you guys going to... You guys gonna make it, all right? Just put one foot forward and you got this, all right? Peace and love, love you guys, have a good one.